Number 31. Modern roller coasters have vertical loops like the one shown in figure 6.38. The radius of curvature is smaller at the top than on the side so that the downward centripetal acceleration at the top will be greater than the acceleration due to gravity, keeping the passengers firmly pressed into their seats. What is the speed of the roller coaster at the top of the loop if the radius of curvature there is 15 meters and the downward acceleration of the car is 1.5 g's? All right, so I drew a picture here, right? Here's the radius of curvature, it's 15 meters. And it says that the downward acceleration um, of the car at the top is 1.5 Gs. But what do we notice that's special about this? The downward acceleration at the top points where? It points to the center. What's that called when the acceleration, what's the acceleration called when it points directly to the center? Centripetal acceleration, right? So we have centripetal acceleration and we have the radius of curvature. So how do we find the speed. This formula over here on the right. This is a fairly straightforward problem. So this says that the centripetal acceleration is equal to the linear speed or tangential speed divided by the radius. So here we have 1.5 times g, okay, will equal v squared over r. Um, right, how would, actually, you know what, let me solve it first for, for v. So cross multiply these two things right here. So it'd be ac times r is equal to v squared simply square root both sides. V will then be equal to the square root of the centripetal acceleration times the radius. Now just plug it all in. 1.5 times G, which is 9.8, multiplied by then the radius, which was 15.0, and that will equal the velocity, the linear velocity. So second square root, uh, 1.5 times 9.8 times 15, get a value of 14.8. Look at that, 14.8. And that, remember, ladies and gentlemen, is in meters per second. Man, I wish all problems were like this, especially after doing number 30. My God. All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, and I look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care.